lot of people are becoming more and more interested in art. Advances in technology are steadily making the art market more accessible and transparent. Millennials are changing how art are being bought and sold. To start an art collection, you have to define your scope. There's just too much art out there that it's important to identify a focus for your collection. Is it going to be abstract? Is it going to be normal, the usual figurative artworks that is most popular now? To help determine your collection scope, you must be able to set up some filters from the very start. Okay, the very first screening any piece should go through is the simplest. Do you like it? You have to have a connection built to the art piece before you start even considering buying it. Otherwise, there is no need to spend time thinking about it. Your collection should first and foremost reflect your tastes. If every collector anyway religiously followed what we was trendy and deemed important, then every collection would look the same. The unique parameters established in the beginning will lend your collection greater cohesion down the road. It's important that you inject your taste in whatever you purchase. You don't have to be wealthy to buy great art. And just because you're on budget, it doesn't mean you cannot acquire something unique and special. If you collect primarily from emerging artists, their pieces will certainly be generally more affordable. Limited edition prints, drawings, photography, and uh, watercolors are often more accessible. They're cheaper, basically. These mediums can let you own a piece of your favorite well-known artist at a very reasonable price.